I hope everyone's doing well today. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me for this video. We're looking here at a very interesting calculus trivia. The trivia is this. You have two different legitimately different functions, the inverse hyperbolic tan and inverse hyperbolic cotan. They have identical derivatives. I will show you in this video why they have identical derivatives. Everything will begin by this very fundamental hyperbolic identity, hyperbolic cosine square x minus hyperbolic sine square x equals 1. If you take this expression and you divide everything by hyperbolic cosine square x, you'll get this expression here on the top. You take that same identity and you divide it by hyperbolic sine square x, you'll get this identity here on the bottom and everything is arising from those two. Again, keep in mind two different functions inverse hyperbolic tan, inverse hyperbolic cotan, they have identical derivatives. The procedure begins as this, y is equal to your inverse hyperbolic tan x. And you can do alongside y is equal to inverse hyperbolic cotan x. These can also be called a r t a n h x. You can say arc hyperbolic tan or you can say arc hyperbolic cotan. They are synonymous. Now you solve for x in each case. x is equal to hyperbolic tan of y. x over here is equal to hyperbolic cotan of y. You do the implicit differentiation or the derivative of this entire expression. When you do the derivative of this expression, you have a hyperbolic secant square y dy over dx is equal to 1. Come over here you're doing the derivative of that expression, you're getting a minus hyperbolic cosecant square y dy over dx is equal to 1. You solve for dy over dx in each case. dy over dx is equal to 1 divided by hyperbolic secant square y. y's and x's, it doesn't matter. The variables are still being consistent with what I'm showing you. dy over dx here is equal to minus 1 divided by hyperbolic cosecant square y. Bring these substitutions. Hyperbolic secant square x is equal to that. Hyperbolic cosecant square x is equal to this. Bring the substitution in. You'll have here 1 divided by 1 minus hyperbolic tan square y. Over here you're looking at the substitution for this which is going to be this. Minus 1 divided by hyperbolic cotan square y minus 1. Now look, the interplay over here, 1 minus and the function and the function minus 1, the flip of this 1 and the function and the fact that here, the derivative here of hyperbolic tan is giving you a positive, the derivative of hyperbolic cotan is giving you a minus, the result of these interplays and the minuses and the positive derivatives is why you'll end up with the same derivative for both of these functions. When you do the substitution over here, Hyperbolic tan y is equal to x square y is equal to x square. 1 divided by 1 minus x square. That's the derivative of inverse hyperbolic tan. Now come over here. You have a minus 1 divided by hyperbolic cotan y is equal to x. The square of that is equal to x square. x square minus 1. But you see this minus. Bring it down here in the denominator and parenthesize that. You'll have a 1 divided by 1 minus x square. And the derivative is exactly the same. Again, why are these two different functions having identical derivatives? Because when you look at these identities, in one case it's 1 minus a function. In the other case you have a function minus 1. When you look at the derivative of these two functions, hyperbolic tan and hyperbolic cotan, in one case you're getting a positive, in the other case you're getting a negative. The interplay of that and the positive and the minus, the substitutions, is why you end up with identical derivatives for two very different functions. That's what I showed you here in this video. Have a good day. Thank you for watching.